Hi guys, my name is Arpit. I'm the co-founder of NSTM. We're a leading training company offering both online and offline training. We offer courses like AI for marketing, growth hacking, data science, and of course, digital marketing. In case you guys want to check us out, you can visit the link. Let's begin the video. Today, we will talk about how AI and machine learning can be applied in marketing. For each of its application, I'm going to give you an inspirational story, a use case, or a case study. Advancements in machine learning has led to a wide adoption of artificial intelligence. Some see this as a source of danger that could lead to tech overtaking humanity, while others see this as a way to improve society, work and life. I believe in the latter, but at the same time I know marketers who are limited by technology will not be able to compete and will definitely get superseded. That makes it extremely important for marketers to upskill themselves. Being aware about how AI can be leveraged in business could open new and exciting doors for your career. Top companies are already using AI to sustain their competitive advantage. Companies that will take time or cannot really figure out a way to use AI in their business will definitely lag behind. Okay, that's enough of me. Now let me take you to my computer screen and show you the application of AI in marketing. I've identified six major areas where AI is making life easier for marketers. First, predictive analytics. So the most popular and probably the most required area in which AI is being used is for predictive analytics. It is used to make predictions about unknown future events. Predictive analytics encompasses a variety of statistical techniques from data mining, statistics and machine learning that analyzes current and historical facts to make predictions about the future. In business, predictive models exploit patterns found in historical and transactional data to identify risks and opportunities. Some applications of predictive modeling are Determine pricing structure Calculate and predict customer lifetime value Predict churn Market basket analysis Upselling cross-selling Predict advertising campaign performance Marketing mix Lead scoring Product portfolio prediction, sales forecasting, predict will the user recommend your product or not, one to one marketing. Now let's look at a use case for predictive analytics. Fox Sports Australia in February 2019 launched Monty, the greatest cricketing mind ever created. Monty is a custom machine learning model designed to spot when and how wickets will fall in live games in real time to boost the fan experience. It has observed every ball bowled by the Australian cricket team in past 18 months to work out its algorithm. Monty can spot an approaching wicket up to 5 minutes before it falls and alert viewers through push notifications to watch the live match. This led to a double digit increase in their weekly sales growth. Another use case is of Starbucks. Starbucks is using loyalty cards and mobile app to collect and analyze customer data including purchases, where they are made and at what time of the day. The company uses predictive analytics to process this data in order to deliver personalized marketing messages to customers including recommendations when they are approaching their local stores and offers aimed at increasing their average spend. A virtual barista service on the app powered by AI also allows customers to place orders directly from their phone via voice command as well as delivering a more personalized customer experience. Starbucks uses their data from 90 million transactions every week to inform business decisions such as where to open new store and which products they should offer. Computer Vision Computer vision is closely linked with artificial intelligence as the computer must interpret what it sees like humans can. Computers can be made to gain high level understanding from digital images or videos. Computer vision tasks include methods of acquiring, processing, analyzing and understanding digital images. Aim is to extract high dimensional data from the real world in order to produce numerical or symbolical information for example in forms of decisions. Let's look at its application in marketing. Original image generation with GANs. GANs stands for Generative Adversarial Networks. They are an exciting recent innovation in machine learning. GANs are generative models, they create new data instance that resembles your training data. For example, GANs can create images that looks like photographs of human faces, even though the face don't belong to any real person. These images were created by a GAN. 
Data Grid, a Japanese tech company, uses generative adversarial networks to create realistic images of fake fashion models. Instead of hiring new people every single time, brands can generate their own original content in a budget-friendly and efficient way. Now let's talk about the second point, visual social listening. Visual listening leverages object recognition to uncover insights about a brand. Visual listening is essentially social listening but for images. With 3.2 billion images shared each day, visual listening is essential for brands. In fact, 80% of images online that includes a brand's logo don't mention the brand in the accompanying text. Here's an example. This tweet includes the Coca-Cola logo and an interesting looking hamburger but it doesn't reference Coca-Cola in the tweet. Without visual listening, Coke would miss this mention. It also helps them answer questions like what food do our customers drink cola with. Brands use visual listening to uncover threats and identify opportunities. Visual listening can uncover threats like an old altered advertisement that's potentially damaging or maybe a protest around your brand or maybe unpleasant misuse of your logo. It can also help you spot first copy products of your original product. Visual listening can also uncover opportunities to improve marketing content, produce better advertisements and even build better products. Like it can help you analyze user generated content or it can help you work out the ROI on your advertisements or sponsorships. Find out how your customers really use your product. Discover product advocates. Seek growing viral content. Understand product feedback. Now let's look at the third point where computer vision is being used for marketing. Visual search. When it comes to online shopping, Customers mostly use search bar or a filter function to discover new products. This usually requires extensive use of tags, all of which are manually assigned to products. Since tagging depends entirely on the retailer, this can be very confusing and inconvenient for consumers, especially if they don't know brand's jargons. Pinterest has an AI-based tool called Visual Search for visual product discovery, eliminating the need for manual tags. Instead of standard filtering systems, consumers via mobile app or browser extension can select an image they want and they will be shown a whole roster of similar items. This way, consumers don't have to know brand jargons to find what they're looking for. They can simply just upload an image of the product that they want to buy on your website and your website will show them similar products. Let's move to the next point, optimize conversion rates with images. Equipped with deep learning algorithms, Yelp can curate the most beautiful photos for any establishment to maximize their conversion rates. Instead of using the number of likes to determine the best photo, they judge photo based on characteristics that actually matter, like contrast, depth of field and alignment to name a few. Yelp used convolutional neural networks to design a photo scoring model. In their datasets, DSLR photos served a positive example while non-DSLR images were negative examples. They fed their data into the deep learning model, enabling it to recognize the quality of good photos. Then the next point where computer vision is being used for marketing is in the area of visual data for personalization. Using computer vision, companies can gather real-time visual data on customers to personalize experience and inform marketing strategy. Selected McDonald's locations have implemented camera-equipped kiosks that suggest menu items based on the consumer's perceived age and gender. In another example, some analysts theorize that the addition of a camera-equipped smart speaker to the Amazon Echo lineup could give Amazon the ability to gather customer data for more effective cross-sell. By observing what people wear and what they bring into their homes, the company can learn which products to restock or suggest for purchase. Let's move to the next point, contextual in-image ads. When Google AdSense or Google Display Network is embedded on a site, users will see a text or image ad that's either A. relevant to the text on the page b based on retargeting data of that particular user but what about images as it turns out there are companies like gumgum 
that can display advertisements over images by contextually identifying what is in the image and displaying relevant ads on the image itself. For example, an image featuring playing kittens might be a good place to advertise a cat food brand. Let's move to the last point, facial recognition, tracking user attention and emotions. Advancements in face analysis algorithms are now powerful enough to assess consumers' facial expressions and measure their emotions. Disney developed an algorithm called factorized variational autoencoders to determine how their audience responds to their films. Infrared cameras detect and capture people's reaction during movie screenings. The software identifies complex facial clues and even predicts how moviegoers would feel at certain part of the movies. This helps Disney understand what provokes certain emotions. Second application of AI in marketing is in the area of clustering and segmentation. In general, segmentation refers to division of a whole into subsets of similar units. The meaning of the term segmentation changes based on the context in which it is being referred. It is common for companies to create several segments across different departments. This is how different departments in a company can use segmentation. Research and Development Research and development may have segments to better understand consumer preferences and purchase behaviors to deliver tailored product enhancements. R&D might also develop a product segmentation to understand product similarities and types of products that are usually purchased together. Finance Department can segment customers to aid in revenue forecasting. Marketing department can use segmentation to understand who is responding to various marketing channels and campaigns to refine targeting and improve campaign performance. Marketing has yet another use of segmentation. Three popular ways to segment your market are demographic segmentation, behavioral segmentation and psychographic segmentation. Human resource department can create talent based workforce segmentation. Here, the focus is on identifying most productive employees so they can be retained and incentivized. Another category can be of consistent and satisfactory performers. They can be improved via training. Another category can be of poor performers. They are mostly likely to be separated. Third area where AI is contributing the most in marketing is recommender systems. A recommender system, also known as recommendation engine, is a system that identifies and provides recommended content or digital items for users. Recommendation engines are becoming an integral part of applications and websites as users love custom recommendations. Recommender systems are known to boost engagement and customer retention. They are being utilized in a variety of areas like Playlist generators for video and music service like Netflix, YouTube and Spotify. Product recommenders for services such as Amazon, Walmart, etc. Content recommenders for social media platforms such as Facebook and Twitter. Google uses recommendation system to suggest news, books and search queries. Recommendation engines are also being used by job portals, food ordering site, dating site, etc. The next area through which AI is contributing is natural language processing. NLP is the ability of a computer program to understand human language as it is spoken. Natural language processing involves speech recognition, natural language understanding and natural language generation. You have already witnessed speech recognition if you have ever interacted with any voice assistant like Siri, Google Assistant or Amazon Echo. Natural language understanding is being used for things like sentiment analysis, competition research, trend analysis, customer feedback analysis. Basically, you can monitor and analyze text on the web. NLU is being used by Gmail for spam filtering. It is also being used for self-learning search, which is must for major e-commerce players as it adds contextually relevant synonyms to a catalog that can result in 3x the depth of search results. Another use of NLP is for machine translation. Google Translate is yet another use case. Conversational UIs or chatbots are also using NLP which are being used in several industries for support and automation. Natural language generation is being used for content marketing. Like Market Music is one such content strategy tool that is powered by NLP and AI. The software analyzes articles as you write them, giving detailed directions to writers so that content is the highest quality possible. Market Moves also analyzes the current events and recent stories, allowing users to instantly create content that is relevant and ranks in Google News. 
Natural language generation is also being used for text message suggestions, related keyword suggestions on search engines, autocomplete, spell check and autocorrect in search bars. The fifth area where AI is being applied is to discover psychographic personas to deliver personalization. Psychographic segmentation divides consumers into subgroups based on shared psychological characteristics, including subconscious or conscious beliefs, motivations and priorities. It tries to understand consumer decision-making process, consumer attitudes, values, personalities and lifestyles. By understanding user psychographics, you can predict user behavior and deliver hyper-personalized experiences. In the course, we will see how to personalize your website in real time based on your marketing personas. Users expect brands and companies to know them, not just by their name, but by the products they prefer to purchase, their interests and their lifestyles. AI platforms are capable of collecting and analyzing prospect and user data at oceanic scale far beyond the capability of human beings by drawing from internal databases, third-party sources, social media and web. IBM Watson Personality Insight Service lets you discover user shopping preferences by analyzing their personality through written text. Here is a use case. Japan Airlines decided to use IBM Personality Insight to deliver personalized travel experience. They built a chatbot called Makano-chan which analyzed user personality when they logged in with Facebook and Twitter account. The chatbot then assigned one of the nine personality types and gave advice based on their interests and preferences. Another interesting use case is of Influential, an AI-powered influencer technology that matches brands and agencies to social media influencers. How it works is that Influential will first analyze the brand and learn who their followers are, their interests and affinities. Then they analyze influencers by pulling their posts and comments. They also discover insights about their followers to ensure brand safety. This allows them to answer questions about which influencer to choose, which messaging to create and which media to use. That'll be all for today. If you learned something new today, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to my channel. Pretty soon, I'm coming up with more content on AI. So make sure you don't miss out. Uh, that'll be all. See you in the next one.